Hello yogis, welcome back to the mat. Thank you so much for choosing to practice with me. Today we have a fun mandala practice and it's a full body uh, vinyasa. As always, please listen to your body and take it at your own pace. Dial it up or dial it down depending on how you're feeling during the practice. Do not focus or stress too much on looking a particular shape in any asana. That's not the point of it, any yoga practice. So don't worry too much about that. You made it to the mat that in itself is a big achievement and you should be proud of yourself. If you do use a block in your practice, have it handy. It's not a mandatory requirement. And please do consider subscribing to my channel. Your support is extremely appreciated. Thank you so much for all the love and comments that I've been getting on my previous videos. See you on the mat. Come into your downward facing dog and pedal your feet to warm up your ankles, to stretch your hamstrings. And if you need to take a couple of breaths in your downward dog, you can do that. And whenever you are ready, let's start our vinyasa. Lift your right leg up, three legged dog. Bend your right knee, stack your hips and take hip circles with your knee. So go up and back. You should feel a nice stretch in your quads and opening in your hips. Take a few more. Come back to the center. Bring your knee into your chest and place your right foot on the outside of your right palm. Left foot on the outside of your left palm and come into your malasana. One breath here. Bring your right knee down onto the mat and roll your left foot parallel to your right shin. Open up your arms in a T and sink your hips towards your left heel. Come back up. Left arm comes inside of your left thigh and take a lateral side body stretch on your right. Back to center. One more time. Sink your hips. Come back up left arm inside of the left thigh take a side body stretch back to center flow through your malasana and come on to the other side left knee down onto the mat right foot perpendicular to the left shin open your arms out in a t sink your hips towards your right heel come back to the center right hand inside of the right thigh and lateral side body stretch on your left back to center one more time sink your hips come back up left right arm inside of the right thigh side body stretch on the left side come back to the center back to your malasana palm the mat step back into your plank pose and flow through your chaturanga upward facing dog come all the way back downward facing dog Lift your left leg up, three-legged dog. Bend your left knee, stack your hips and take your hip circles. Go up and back. Make your circle as big as you can. Come back to the center, knee to your chest. Place your left foot on the outside of your left palm. Right foot on the outside of the right palm. palms to the chest and take a breath bring your left knee down on the mat right foot perpendicular to the left shin lift your hips arms out in a T sink your hips to your right heel come back to the center and lateral side body stretch one more time sink your hips towards your right heel come back to the center right hand inside of the right thigh lateral side body stretch come back to the center flow through your malasana bring your right knee down and left foot parallel to the right shin arms out in a t sink your hips come back up left hand inside of the right left thigh lateral side body stretch back to center one more time come back left arm 
on the inside of the left thigh, lateral side body stretch, back, arms back into a T, come back through your malasana, plant your palms, step back into your plank pose, flow through your chaturanga, upward facing dog, come all the way back, downward facing dog, one breath in your downward dog, roll into your full plank, bring your right forearm down on the mat, left forearm down on the mat, coming, to, coming into a forearm plank, stay here for two breaths, sink your right hip down, back to center, left hip down, back to center, four more on each side, every exhale, tap your hips down onto the mat, Come back to the center, bring your hips down, chest comes out through your upper arms into a swing. Your tops of your feet are firmly down on the mat, pull up on your kneecaps to keep your legs active. Bring your palms to the corners of the mat, push your palm into the ground and lift your elbows transitioning into a seal. back down into your swings bring your chest all the way down on the mat hands come alongside your body lift your legs off the mat chest and hands coming into your locust don't crank your neck up look straight forward ahead of you two more breaths bring your legs back down on the mat, tuck your toes, palms come next, next to your chest and push up into your full plank. From here bring your left forearm down, right forearm down, back into your forearm plank, walk your feet towards your hands, lift your hips, transitioning into dolphin. Lift your right leg up, three-legged dolphin. Work your left heel towards the mat. Switch sides, left leg up, three-legged dolphin. Working your right heel towards the mat. Bring your left foot back down. Bend your knees, look through your, look towards your palms and shoot into your full plank. Flow through your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, come all the way back, downward facing dog. If you are like me and you are way off the center of the mat, walk your dog back and position yourself again on the center of the mat. Next breath, lift your right leg up, three legged dog, bend your right knee and open it, open your hips. Take your hip circles again, drawing big circles up and back. Back to the center, bring the right knee into your chest, place your right knee down on the mat, lift your left leg up and extend your right hand alongside your ears. Make sure that your hips are facing the mat. It's Take a deep breath here, engage your core. And next exhale, bring your elbow and knee to chest, knee to touch in front of your chest. Extend again. We'll take four more of that. Every exhale, crunch and extend. Crunch and extend, two more. The whole time, square your hips down on the mat, engage your core. Bring your right palm down on the mat, left foot comes down on the mat, pull your right knee back into your chest, place your right foot in between your hands, back knee comes down on the mat, bring your arms alongside your ears, sink your hips forward, take a deep breath and a chest opener, cactus your arms and open your chest up towards the sky. I have this beautiful sun shining on my face. It's hot, 
but it's amazing bring your arms back alongside your ears shift your hips back extend your right leg flex your right foot and hinge from your hips into half splits come back up into your low lunge sink your hips forward open your chest up towards the sky cactusing your arms back to center shift your hips back extend your right leg flex your right foot hinge from your hips coming into your half splits come back up one more time sink your hips down cactus your arms open your chest up towards the sky back to center shift your hips back extend your right leg flex your right foot and hinge from your hips make sure that the back of your neck is long and hold your half splits for two more breaths come back to the center palms to your chest tuck your back toes lift your back knee off the mat coming into a crescent lunge take a breath here in your crescent lunge and next exhale bring your left knee into the chest coming into a one legged tadasana cross your left ankle over your right thigh engage your core and sit into your figure four feeling a nice opening in your hips one breath come back into your one legged tadasana shoot your left leg back hinge from your hips coming into warrior 3 back foot down on the mat cartwheel your arms open up into warrior 2 position your feet engage your core next breath flip your right palm transition into your reverse warrior we can bring your left hand behind your back towards your right thigh take a breath right palm on the inside of your right foot or on your thigh coming into a side angle you can have your left hand towards the sky or bring it alongside your ears for a deeper stretch in your side body next breath look towards your right foot press through the ball mounts of ball mount of your right foot extend your right leg transition into a triangle pull up on the knee caps of your legs exhale into a reverse triangle bring your hands out into a t feet come parallel to each other now you are facing the longer side of the mat fold forward into a wide legged forward fold weight is on the knife at side of your feet pull up on your knee caps engage your core you can play towards bringing your forearms down onto the mat keep the back of your neck long and the shoulders are moving away from your ears half way left bring your right palm directly underneath your face and left palm opens up towards the sky take a twist switch sides left palm directly underneath your face right palm towards the sky back to center this time bring your right palm on the outside of your left foot and twist open switch sides left palm on the outside of your right foot twist open come back to the center bring your left foot to face the back edge of the mat bend your left knee roll on to the toes of your back leg you are in a low lunge facing the back edge of the mat arms come alongside your ears coming into a high crescent lunge take a deep breath square your hips towards the front of the mat squeeze your inner thighs bring your palms to your chest and bring your right knee into your chest engage your core 
open your right right knee towards the side and try to bring your right foot as close to your glutes as possible without using your hands and then pick it up and place it on your left inner thigh you can also place your right foot on your left calf but be mindful to not place it on your left knee arms come alongside your ears into your tree pose you can either stay here or you can lean towards the right knee growing tall in your left side body engaging your core and not sinking in your hips come back to the center bring your knee back into your chest grab hold on the outside edge of your right foot with your left hand extend your right leg take a twist release your twist flow through your warrior 3 whoops <laughs> flow through your warrior 3 place your back foot down on the mat bring your palms down flow through your chaturanga you can flow through a one legged chaturanga back to downward facing dog <clears throat> lift your left leg up three like a dog bend your left knee and stack your hips take your hip circles going up and back draw the, and make your circles as big as you can come back to the center pull your knee into your chest place your left shin down on the mat extend your right leg back left hand comes alongside your ears take a breath next exhale bring your left elbow and right knee to touch under your belly extend back exhale crunch inhale extend three more bring your left palm down on the mat right toes come down on the mat bring your left knee back into your chest place your left foot in between your palms bring your back knee down on the mat sink your hips forward arms come alongside your ears you should feel a nice opening in your right quad right front hip take a breath exhale open your chest up towards the sky cactus in your arms come back to the center shift your hips back extend your left leg flex your left foot hinge from your hips coming into a half splits back to center sink your hips forward open your chest up towards the sky cactus in your arms back to center shift your hips back extend your left leg flex your left foot half splits come back to the center sink your hips forward open your chest up towards the sky back to center shift your hips back extend your left leg flex your left foot and hold your half splits this time for two breaths come back up bring your palms to the chest tuck your back toes lift your back knee coming into a crescent lunge one breath next exhale bring your right knee into your chest one legged tadasana cross your right ankle over your left thigh sink your hips down figure 4 take a deep breath come back to the center float your right leg back hinge from your hips warrior 3 cartwheel your arms open up warrior 2 adjust your stance reverse your warrior you can bring your right hand behind your back towards your left thigh 
exhale bring your left palm on the inside of your left leg side angle you can have your right hand extended towards the sky or bring it alongside your ears look towards your left foot press through the ball mount extend your left leg transition into a triangle come all the way up reverse your triangle palms come to your chest parallel your feet hinge from your hips fold forward you can work towards bringing your forearms down on the mat make sure that the weights are on the knife at side of your feet come back up take a twist right palm directly underneath your face extend your left hand towards the sky pull up on the knee caps switch sides left hand directly underneath your face right hand extends towards the sky back to center rotate your right foot towards the front edge of the mat roll on to the back toes you are in a back lunge facing the front edge of the mat now come into your high crescent lunge squeezing your inner thighs squaring your hips towards the front of the mat palms to your chest bring your left knee to your chest one leg at a time open your left knee to the side engage your core and try to bring your left heel as close to your glutes as possible and then with the help of your hand place it on your right inner thigh engage your core lift up from your hips you can either stay here or bring your arms alongside your ears stay here or you can lean your tree towards your left knee grow tall in your right side body come back to the center left knee comes back to your chest grab hold on the knife at side of your left left foot with your right hand take a standing twist release your left leg float your left leg all the way back warrior 3 place your left foot down on the mat palms come down on the mat flow through your chaturanga of your choice upward facing dog all the way back downward facing dog take a deep breath next breath lift your right leg up coming into a three legged dog bend your right knee bring your right knee into your chest and place your right foot in between your palms coming into a low lunge bring your back knee down on the mat and shift your hips back you're coming back into your half splits you can either stay here or if you feel ready and if you want to try you can extend both your legs out transitioning into a full split if you are like me and you are tight in your hamstrings on one or both sides you can use your block underneath your leg to give you some height and hold your half for hold your half splits or your full splits for two full breaths lift your hips up pull your right leg back coming into your half splits if you were in your full splits remove the block from underneath you and transition back into your low lunge arms come alongside your ears palm the mat tuck your back toes lift your back knee coming into high crescent lunge bring your palms to your chest float into your warrior 3 take a deep breath here next breath bend your 
left knee bring your left knee behind your right taking a jiva squat extend back into warrior three two more jiva squat back into warrior three one more come back into warrior three place your left foot behind your right crisscrossing your legs and fold forward for an it pan stretch come all the way up grab hold of your left left wrist with your right hand and take a lateral side body stretch opening your left side body engage your core go, grow tall in your torso come back to the center bring your palms to your chest and float your left leg back again coming into warrior three place your back foot down on the mat open up into warrior two take a deep breath extend your right leg bring your feet parallel palms come to your chest and we'll take lateral squats squat on to your left side bending your left knee come back to the center Le right side back to center left back to center right come back to center and this time when you squat on to your left side roll on to the heels of your right foot flex your right foot toes point out towards the sky sink your hips all the way down coming into your skandhasana pull up on your kneecap of your right leg one breath place your palms towards the back of the mat roll on to your back toes and bring your left shin parallel to the short edge of the mat you're facing the back of the mat and you're in your pigeon pose take a deep breath stay up here or walk your hands and come all the way down you can rest your forehead on the backs of your hands work towards bringing your right hip down onto the mat come back up bend your back leg work your back foot into your right elbow crease bring your left hand alongside your ears and bind your hands behind your head release your bind bring your back toes down on the mat lift your hips step back into your plank pose flow through your chaturanga upward facing dog all the way back downward facing dog left leg up three legged dog bring your left knee into your chest place your left foot in between your palms back knee down come into your low lunge shift your hips back extend your left leg fold forward into your half splits either stay here or you can extend both your legs out coming into a full splits use a block if needed two full breaths in your full splits lift your hips shift back into your half splits if you are in your full bend your left knee transition back into your low lunge tuck your back toes lift your back knee coming into a high crescent lunge and float into your warrior 3 bend your right knee and bring it behind your left jiva squat extend back warrior 3 jiva squat back into warrior 3 one more jiva squat back into warrior 3 bring your back leg back foot behind your right and fold forward into your criss cross forward fold for a for a 90 band stretch come all the way up grab hold of your right wrist with your left hand and open your si right side body keep your core engaged come back to the center 
palms come back to your chest float your right leg back warrior three open up into warrior two bring your feet parallel facing the longer side of the mat engage your core and take your lateral squats bend your right knee and squat towards your right side come back to the center squat to your, towards your left side back to center right back to center left come back and this time when you squat towards your right side extend your left leg facing your left toes towards the sky flexing your left foot coming into skandhasana one breath place your palms towards the front of the mat bring your right shin parallel to the mat transition into a pigeon you can either stay up here or you can walk your hands fold forward work your left hip down onto the mat take a deep breath come back up bend your back knee work your left foot into your elbow crease bring your right hand alongside your ears bind your hands and open your chest towards the front edge of the mat release your back foot lift your hips step back into your plank pose flow through your chaturanga upward facing dog come all the way back downward facing dog bring your knees down onto the mat criss cross your legs sit bones come down on the mat bring the soles of your feet together coming into a butterfly adjust your stance and if your knees are up here you can use blocks to bridge the gap and you can stay up or you can walk your hands forward and fold make sure that your shoulders are moving away from your ears come back up fold your knees lift your heels off the mat transition into your boat either stay here or extend your legs engage your core open your chest up towards the sky and hold for a two three breaths slowly bend your knees hug your knees into your chest and roll on your sit bones to release your hips come all the way down onto the mat hug your knees into your chest roll from side to side to release your lower back open your arms out in a t and bring your knees to stack directly over your hips ankles are in line with your knees and we'll drop our knees to our left side keeping our knees together or at least working towards that shoulder bones are down on the mat come back to the center exhale drop our knees to the right come back to the center four more on each side drop every exhale drop your knees on to one side and bring it back to the center the whole time keep your shoulder blades down on the mat use your core to bring your legs back up last one on each side back to center bring your feet down onto the mat we'll take a back bend if you don't have a wheel pose in your practice you can take a bridge make sure that your weight is on your heels and your heels are directly underneath your knees push down on your heels engage your core tuck your tailbone and lift your hips off the mat coming into a bridge 
you can either hold here or bring your palms next to your ears and adjust your stance push up into your wheel pose Come all the way back down, hug your knees into your chest, roll from side to side. We'll end our practice in a Shavasana and if you want to add on to the practice you can go ahead and do that or if you're ready to take a Shavasana you can join me here. But whatever the case, please, please take at least 30 seconds worth of Shavasana just to consolidate your practice, to bring, bring you back to your normal breath. That was a lot of hard work. Show gratitude towards your beautiful body. Don't take it for granted, please. Take care of yourself and I'll see you again on the mat next week. I hope you had a lot of fun doing that flow with me. Thank you so much for choosing to practice with me again. And please do consider subscribing to my channel. Your support is extremely appreciated. I'll see you next week on the mat and until then have a great time.